All right, let's 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 move on now. Also uh, to uh, another person, actually uh, that I know personally. This this award, and it's incredible to see uh, him. And this uh, really typifies what he is in the uh, outstanding alum, um, uh, young alumnus award. I'd like to ask uh, John Finney to come forward. Good evening, everybody. I got a pose for my picture here. It's my pleasure uh, to present the Worcester State University Outstanding Young Alumni Award to my partner, John Buckley. John's been very active uh, with a wide range of activities over the years with Worcester State. While he was um, on campus, he served on the Board of Trustees you know, as a student representative. Um, he was active in a number of student organizations. Subsequent to graduation, he served on the advisory committee to the economics and, and business department, and he's also established an on-campus recruiting program for our firm, Alexander, Aronson, and Finney, you know, at Worcester State. And we've hired a number of Worcester State graduates over the years. Um, John uh, worked for us in, as an intern while he was going to school here at Worcester State and joined us upon graduation in 1994. At that point, we had about 35 employees. Today, we have over 130. And, I have to grudgingly attribute a lot of that uh, increase in growth to John's great efforts, um, you know, almost a 400% growth. Um, he became a partner with our firm in 2007. Today, he heads our internal uh, training program, does a great job with, with training and developing our young staff. Um, I think some of that probably ties back to uh, the experience he got here at Worcester State and, and the education that he got on campus. Um, he also provides accounting and, and auditing and tax services to a wide variety of nonprofit organizations and businesses. Um, he's, he's really grown um, our business, particularly in the area of, of uh, um, serving private schools and, and colleges, and he's done a great job in, in that arena. Um, he's also been very active in our profession with both the Mass Society of CPAs and the American Institute of CPAs. And, He's also been very active in the community. He's very involved with the Boy Scout movement, Cub Scouts more specifically right now, but I'm sure that'll change over the years. And also involved in coaching soccer and, and, and other youth activities. Um, you know, because of all the above and his continued involvement, he was also one of the, uh, he was awarded the very prestigious Worcester Business Journal 40 Under 40 Award last year. So he's been continuing to be very active. Um, without further ado, I'd like to have John come up and uh, accept his award. First, I have to thank Tara. Uh, as Jack mentioned, I got the uh, 40 Under 40 Business Award last year, and uh, I, I walked up at Mechanics Hall, and up on a big, huge screen was my picture, and it had to have been the worst picture that I've ever taken in my entire life. So thank you for uh, getting a good picture. Um, but first, I'd like to thank my partner uh, and my business partner, Joy Child, uh, who, nom who nominated me for this award. Uh, you know, unfortunately, Joy couldn't be here tonight. Uh, she's uh, for medical reasons, but uh, my thoughts are with her, and thank you. Uh, I'd also like to thank the alumni board for this award, uh, and finally, my family, uh, and my, especially Jack and Juliana, uh, and my whole family for this award, um, as well as my friends that came out. Uh, tonight and co-workers uh, to support me uh, and my family who has supported me through the years. Um, and especially, you know, I want to thank my parents who have supported me, you know, through uh, my entire career, uh, both helping, pushing me in the direction uh, of going to college uh, and through my career. Uh, so. I'd like to reflect a little bit um, on my days at Worcester State in my career uh, you know, uh, subsequent to Worcester State. As a senior in high school, I had to decide what I was going to do with my life, like most of us, when we graduate. Uh, and after working at CVS for a long time, uh, I, I said, okay, well, I'm going to become a pharmacist. I think that, uh, that would be good. And that was the day, you know, so I, I got accepted to Mass College of Pharmacy, and that was the days before Worcester State had an affiliation with Mass College of Pharmacy. Uh, so I said, okay, I'll go, to Worc I'll go to Mass College of Pharmacy and become a pharmacist. I looked at the, uh, the, the, the fees of Mass College of Pharmacy and I said, you know what, instead of a five-year program at Mass College of Pharmacy, I'm going to 
take some of my general classes at Worcester State um, or, or a state school and, and get some of those courses out and then I'll transfer in. Uh, so after visiting all of the state schools, I came to Worcester State and I said, okay, Worcester State's really where I want to be and this is where I should be. Uh, it was the right fit for me. I started my career at Worcester State and I decided to take a few business classes uh, uh, as, a, as electives. Uh, my first accounting class was with Dr. Stefanini, who's here tonight, uh, and you know, Dr. Stefanini, who later became my advisor, um, really changed my career. Uh, you know, ha having that first business class with her, I realized you know, accounting is you know, great, uh, and that changed my life uh, <laughs> forever. So a after that point, I decided uh, you know, pharmacy school was not what I was gonna do, and I, I stayed in business. Uh, so if it wasn't for Dr. Stefanini, who's here tonight, uh, I would have uh, had a completely different career path. So thank you. <laughs> As I continued my days at Worcester State, I became very active in the college and made it my home. I was involved in many activities uh, in student groups, most fondly the Newman Association, where one of the major things that we did uh, a, f a few times every, each semester was go to the mustard seed and prepare a meal there. Um, also, my senior year, I was a student representative on the Board of Trustees, where I served as a full board member alongside great business leaders and members of the community, including Jim. Uh, that's where we first met. This experience was invaluable as it taught me many skills that I would, uh, could not have learned in the classroom, but were skills that I used throughout my career. I also worked on campus in many positions. Uh, I think I probably worked in every department here, uh, including the residence halls, campus security, the print shop, and even the mail room. So I was uh, all over the campus. Uh, as I started my career, uh, uh, sorry, as I started up or taking my upper business classes, I realized that the education I was receiving was second to none. Uh, at the time, I had a friend who was at a private college in Boston uh, which I won't mention the name because Jack is an alumni of there, but I'll say that it's uh, right outside of Boston proper and their mascot is an eagle. So uh, <laughs> I, I, I'll, leave, I'll leave it at that. But, uh, <laughs> um, but, but we were both taking accounting classes. We were both majoring in accounting. Uh, and at the time, you know, as we talked about our classes, um, I was amazed. You know, in his business classes, uh, he was in a lecture hall with anywhere between 100 and 150 students uh, for, for these accounting classes. And I looked at mine and I, you know, it may, once he got up to the upper levels, there were a little bit less, but I looked at mine and I had between 10 and 20 students in the classes. Uh, he was being taught by a graduate student, or, or graduate students, while my professors were seasoned profess professors, uh, many of them who had real life experiences. And when I got into my two key classes, accounting, I mean auditing and taxes, both of the professors there had their own CPA practice. Um, you know, so I looked at that and said, you know, who had the better education? Um, you know, <laughs> you know I mean, so I'll, I'll let you make the decision. I know what my thoughts were. Um, you know, but however, you know, when I, gave, when I, became, when I got into my senior year uh, and I looked around, you know, he had places like Arthur Anderson, Price Waterhouse, and the other big six at the time, accounting firms interviewing on campus there. And I looked at Worcester State, and we had no one interviewing on campus. Uh, you know, so that was where I, you know, um, and I knew that my education, and I could compete with any of those, but we didn't have necessarily the network that uh, those colleges had. Um, so even though I knew that we were much better, we didn't have that network. Uh, as of November of my senior year, I didn't have a job. I applied for an uh, internship at the CPA firm out of Westboro, Alexander Aronson and Finning. I got the internship, I did tax work there during the course of uh, that tax season, and then I was offered a job there. Uh, in, 90, in 1994, I started as a staff accountant, and through the years, I worked my way through and became a manager, and uh, in 2007, was invited to become a partner of the firm. Uh, and at that time, my work really changed uh, over those years. I, I went from doing taxes uh, to, to finding where my real passion lied and working with nonprofit clients. Uh, you know, today, most of my clients are nonprofits, and I work a lot with educational institutions. And I can, you know, my, you know I feel uh, very good about my career when I look at that, and I realize that 
uh, when I can look at an organization and I can help them save money uh, you know, through our recommendations and help the, that nonprofit put money back into the community opposed to, uh, you know, and save money, you know, that really makes a, um, you know, makes me feel like I made the right career choice. About eight or nine years ago, I was in a posi position within the AAF to have some influence over our recruiting. Uh, at that point, uh, with the help of a few professors, I began our on-campus recruiting program uh, from AAF on campus at Worcester State. Uh, so now every year in October, I spend a day uh, interviewing seniors uh, at Worcester State for accounting positions. And we're very proud of our uh, history with, with uh, Worcester State. Over the year, uh, the past uh, probably eight years, we've hired 16 graduates of Worcester State uh, and currently today we have nine, uh, sorry, eight people on staff that are Worcester State graduates. So uh, we're very proud of our involvement with the, with the college. Uh, and then during those days, I also get to stop in at Dr. Stefanini's class and, uh, you know, and she gives me the opportunity to talk a little bit. Um, but in closing, I, I just want to tell a quick story um, and give a challenge to our alumni. Last night I was at an event, uh, one of my nonprofit clients, a charter school in Boston, I was at that event and I was seated at a table with a girl who, um, gra a senior, she was graduating this year, and I, I asked her what her plans were. She said, I really wanted to go to Simmons, but unfortunately when my financial aid package came in, uh, there was a big gap between what I could afford and what they were offering me. Uh, so I looked at it and I settled that I'm gonna go to a state school. At that point I stopped her and um, I explained to her that I went to a state school and uh, asked her why she felt she was settling in. At, you know, we had a long discussion. I told her all of the things I talked about to, you know, that I just mentioned to you. Um, and at that point, the guy who was sitting beside me, who was an attorney who I've known for years, piped in and said, I graduated from a state university as well. Uh, and we all had a big discussion. And at that point, you know, there was a, uh, I think when she left that, you know, that dinner that night, it changed her mind as far as settling on a state school and, and going, to, you know, and being happy with her choice. So at this, you know, at this point, um, you know, what I would do, uh, you know, I want to challenge the alumni here and, and everyone from Worcester State to really stand up and be proud of the fact, and I think that this is probably preaching to the choir, choir but be proud of the fact that you have a state education. Um, be proud of the fact that you went to a state school. I think that our education is second to none. I want to thank the uh, professors that I had here. Um, and then also challenge the alumni to form that network that the uh, big private schools have. Um, hire fellow alumni. Uh, buy services and products from alumni and really form that network. And I have to say Tom uh, McNamara and his group has done a great job with the college in really elevating that from the days back in the early 90s to where it is today. But uh, again, I would challenge the, the alumni to really do that um, and to be proud of the school. So I accept this, uh, this award with pride. Thank you. <laughs>